experience. And can you make a few uh, words? Uh, thank you very much, Jay Song. Uh, I want to, as Stephanie has done, really thank the IM division for giving me this award. It was a total shock, frankly. When I got the email, I wasn't expecting it, and, and it was uh, an incredibly nice um, to receive it. And I want to thank the committee that worked on it and the division. Let me just say, and I will follow Stephanie also again, as I do in so many things, uh, except not in being a dean, no interest in being a dean. Um, but um, I think that thinking about service to global community is something we should all be doing at different points in our lives. I'm sitting here looking at the uh, slide deck and I really like the logo that the Academy of Management has for the um, for this year, which is creating a better world together. I mean, it's a wonderful motto that we should all aspire to and participate in. And let me just talk a little bit to that, creating a better world together. I think we each have a responsibility to do this. I used to say we have a responsibility to make a difference, but I actually think we really have a responsibility to creating a better world together. And the way we do that is it's very hard to do it as an individual one-on-one, -on -one, but it is a whole lot easier to do it in communities. And as academics, there's at least three types of communities we, we participate that correspond to the big three we're all involved in, which is research, teaching, and service. And each of those has its own communities, the ones that I think we're, we, we spend many, most of our time in, frankly, uh, is the research community, which brings together uh, all the authors, the reviewers, the editors, uh, which I've done a large part of this over my lifetime. There's the teaching community, which Stephanie talked about. Uh, one of the things I'm most proud of is my Transfer Pricing Aggies group, which has, I don't know, 350 uh, masters and PhD graduates at Texas A&M scattered all over the world, uh, working in the areas of transfer pricing and international tax. So we have a variety of education and teaching related communities where we can create a better world together. And then lastly, the one which I think this award is for is professional service. And I think of that in a multiple ways. One is professional service inside our own universities Second is professional service through our associations, like the IM division, like Academy of Management in general, like AIB. Um, I think of within AIB, for example, WAVE, Women in the Academy of International Business. There are a variety of ways that we can come together with a like-minded group and really create a better world for both all of us together, but also in particular for the ones that are coming behind us. And then I'll just say a minute about something I'm involved in now. I am now a professor emerita, which means I get to work full time, but I don't get paid anymore. <laughs> uh, it's like being on permanent sabbatical leave, it is. And I, I highly recommend it. I really, truly, when you get the opportunity to become an emerita, professor and uh, work for free, uh, you get to work on what you want, and I do recommend it. So the latest thing I'm involved in is, and this has been a longtime goal of mine, and most of you know my field of research has been transfer pricing. The United Nations has a UN tax committee, which has 25 representatives that are each of them government representatives. More than half are from developing countries. The focus is on international taxation at the international level and doing this and doing this uh, from the point of view primarily of developing countries. That UN tax committee has a whole variety of subcommittees, one of which is transfer pricing. And when I was asked to let my name stand for that committee this spring, I thought I'm not going to get it. They really don't have any academics and they don't really have American members. And I'm both, I'm both, although I could claim my Canadian heritage here. And she was, I got an email at the beginning of June saying that I had been chosen for the subcommittee on transfer pricing. That means for the next three and a half years, I get to work pro bono 
with a group of people around the world, a couple of academics, but mostly senior representatives of governments. And again, more than half of them are for developing countries. And I get the opportunity to actually, as an academic, be involved and create a better world together in an area that has been my research since my doctoral dissertation many, many years ago, uh, and to give back in that way and hopefully to make the world a better place, particularly for developing countries. Now, I couldn't have done that at the beginning of my career. I could do it now as an emerita professor. And it's a true thrill and an opportunity to be able to do that. So let me just suggest to all of you out, out there to think about we all operate in communities. Most of our communities are inside the ivory tower, but they don't have to be. You can reach out to professional communities. You can reach out to international organizations at the United Nations or the OECD or ATAF, which is the African tax uh, group. And you can work, work with these groups to try and make the world a little bit better. Bring your academic expertise you know, uh, to bear on real world policy problems, whether they're the SDGs, or in my case, that's something I know quite a lot about, which is tax and transfer pricing. So let me say again, thank you to the IM division for this award and to all the members of the committee who worked on this. And let me leave you with the idea that we do have the opportunity to create a better world and doing it together in communities with the big three, research, teaching, and service, and thinking about this over our lifetime, the things maybe you need to do as an assistant professor are very different than the ones you do as an associate and as a full. And then finally, when you get to my age, you get to put that all together and hopefully give back and make a difference outside of academia to what's going on in the real world so that hopefully by the time I'm gone, I will have left the world through the communities that I'm involved in a little bit better than it was before I was there. And that's, that's kind of a re really worthwhile goal for, for I think each one of us to aspire to. So thank you very much again. Uh, inspiring remarks, uh, Lorraine, thank you. And congratulations again. Uh,